Hi, everyone. So I'm Bereket. I'm one of the mentors from the Circle 8 uh, Grad Talk Mentor Program uh, for the 2023 year. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking to you about how I balance my time between research, teaching, and courses. So first thing I want to recommend to everybody is to find a priority list. And the priority for me is research is number one, teaching is number two, and courses is, are number three. And the reason is research is how you're going to get your PhD and how you're going to get out of this place. So you need to be on top of everything, and that's what you're getting paid for. Second thing is teaching, because teaching is uh, you influence other people's learning and it has other people around you so you need to be able to uh, be a good role model and a good teacher uh, for them so and the third the courses is like obviously you need to work well enough so that you still keep your position and so i divide the days of the week based on that so first i'll take about two days of, of the week or at least two days normally two or three days just for research so one day would be in the lab working on experiments. One day would be like planning and uh, organizing my next research thought, or and then the third one would be either meetings or something research related. And then for teaching, I also commit at least one to two days a week when I'm when I'm like a teacher assistant or something. And that's depending on like how intense the class is. And for courses, I commit about one to two days. Uh, you know, depending on how many homeworks and assignments I have. And like here, I have my schedule. Uh, so I adhere to my schedule like a lot. Before I was not not that into like, you know, having a calendar, but as you grow into your career, you need a schedule and everything I need is planned here and it's connected to my personal uh, calendar as well as all the other calendars I have been involved with. Uh, and the other thing I'd like to show you guys is the, uh, oh, I think I didn't open it. Let me open it first. Uh, the to-do list. So I use Microsoft to-do. Uh, whenever it opens up, I'll show you guys. Uh, so the Microsoft to-do. So this is, I have it on my phone. It's, so I have it for personal things as well as for anything that's research related or anything I need to remember. So I just pull up, uh, pull it up on my phone and type in whatever I need to do as soon as I remember it. And then it'll be here and I'll like say what day I'll have to do it. And when I'm done, I just cross off a video. And this is when I crossed this off earlier for when I attempted to make this video. Uh, so I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you need any more feedback or any more tips. And thank you. Uh, okay, how do I stop?